to another video. Today is going to be a nice little Sunday reset vlog. I haven't vlogged since I think we were on Nantucket. I just have had a really, really rough week. I am not going to go into grief in this vlog, but I've been really down bad deep in grief. So, hasn't been, you know, the best week for me. Anyways, we're doing a nice little Sunday reset vlog. I thought I was going to rot again today. I was rotting all day yesterday at home and it was kind of just what I needed. Let me get my earrings. And this morning I got invited to something and I was like, no thanks, I'm just gonna rot today. Like I need to just like lay in bed. And then like two hours later, I was like, honestly, I want to get out and like do some things, but just by myself. I do need to transplant some plants. Here's the issue. I've planted a lot of seedlings that I don't have room for in my garden. So I am gonna hopefully get another bed. We'll figure that out next week. I'm out of town all next week. By the way, this stuff, I've talked about it in a vlog. It smells so good and like, oh my God, it smells so incredible. It smells like Baccarat, but it's like 50 bucks. It's so good. It's the, I don't even know how. You guys can just screenshot that. It's unbelievable. But I thought about it. I laid in bed this morning. I got a video up and then I thought, you know what? I want to go to Home Depot because Home Depot makes me happy. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to do a nice Sunday reset vlog. This upcoming week, I'm in California for the week. I'm going to LA to see Dom and Keaton really and to podcast. And then I'm going with TK and the girls to Stagecoach which I'm excited for. I think that I do a little bit better when I'm out of town. Like I think just being home, it's like really real. If y'all are new here, be sure to subscribe. It's gonna be a good little Sunday vlog. I love a Sunday vlog when I'm in the mood. I actually worked up the courage to organize my bathroom yesterday for the first time literally since I moved in a year ago. I don't know why I've always been such a like clean bathroom girl. I've never, been the one with like, the messy counters until I moved into this house and now it's just been out of control. So I actually organized the whole bathroom. I'll show you guys. Okay, ignore this because I just took this bag out, but basically my bags just go straight into this little drawer. And then this is my hair stuff. And then this is tan stuff that I'll figure out what I want to use. Cause I have never been paler in my life. I haven't been tanning. These are just towels. And then back here, oh, that's what I had you guys set up on, ignore that. But back here, look at how amazing this looks. And it was so ugly before and just cluttered. Like I wish y'all could see what the difference is, but we have makeup stuff, skincare stuff, skin care tools in there, hair stuff, body stuff. That's all either tanning stuff or like SPF. Hair tools, Dyson, hair accessories, rollers, vitamins, extra like just back stock of stuff that I have. So I have a bunch of like travel um, bags and like vitamin stuff all down there. Anyways, it just looks like so much better and it made me feel amazing and it literally only took me an hour and a half and I've put it off for an entire year. And then over here, I just have some more products and then I have like my Skin Confidential body tools and then just the stuff that I've been using. I just got new like products that are in my Sephora bag outside. But yeah, I've also been loving these Indulge um, body washes. They smell so good. All right, well, lots of trash that I need to throw away and get my life together. All right, y'all, my seedlings, it's time. I mean, the carrots are not looking great. I don't even want to transplant these. Like, I don't like that at all. I've been hardening them the past couple of days. And I mean, these are really ready to go. So we're gonna do that today. And then I'm gonna try to make a plan. Like, I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I just got a little carried away. I really got a little carried away. And I need more garden bed space. Also, I think I'm supposed to chop one of these out of this. I don't know. They're overgrown and they're not great because they're overgrown. We're gonna make it work with what I can make it work with. I did get this shelf, which again, can see where are the plants gonna go once they're done the seedlings. That's a great question, actually, guys. I'm glad that you asked, but um, this is like my new seedling station that we are gonna set up, and I'm gonna put them in to bigger pots and then move them up here and see what we can do. So here's my little Sunday reset outfit of the day. My shorts are Amazon, my sweater is J. Crew. my sunglasses are also Amazon, socks are Amazon, shoes are New Balance. I got them from American Eagle. I'll link them below because I think they're the 90s, 60s or something like that. 
I never know the names, but I know that they have been sold out like everywhere. And then my hat I got on Nantucket at Breeze and Up. And then my little AirPod covers, they're Amazon. Everything is Amazon today. You know, it's been like a bad week when I don't even notice that I have no self tan left. Like, none of those are the things that matter in life obviously, but I'm always tanning and I just didn't have the energy. So we're just figuring it out. But my house actually is gonna get clean tomorrow. Thankfully, so like the deep cleaning and stuff will be done. I just kind of been like tidying up, getting rid of trash and stuff. I feel like a new person with my bathroom. It's so organized now and it just feels amazing. Okay, so obviously there's new Taylor Swift and it is by far my favorite album of hers. I am more of a like debut, evermore folklore girl. I mean, I'm like every single era. I've been like a lifelong, obviously Swifty, if you will. But this album, there's just nothing like it. And I was just walking around Home Depot and then I had a little mini breakdown before leaving, really angry. And then I was like, I'm still gonna make myself go. So I went and it's beautiful out, it's like in the 60s, which is really crazy because it was horrible this week, but it stormed all day yesterday. So it's actually been kind of nice because I had like a day to raw and it was raining and I like needle points and the Macy was over and I organized my bathroom, but it's beautiful out today, like so beautiful. And yeah, it was stunning. The flowers at Home Depot right now are unreal. Like I cannot believe how beautiful they are. I really want to redo the like gazebo area of my house, like the patio area. I don't know why I'm calling it the gazebo, the patio. I don't like how it's rocks and when I moved in, they had a bunch of like cacti and stuff and I don't love cacti. Like I'm more of like a flowers, I want color sort of girl. And I really want my like patio area of plants. I want them to feel like, I want it to feel like a big garden. Like it's so pretty and like, floral and colorful and cute like really just like pinkish pinks and yellows and stuff so that is like my next project and i was just walking around i'm like i want literally everything here at my house they're so stunning so anyways i just ordered some food i've been eating tropical cafe like it's no one's business because i can only like i have like a weird appetite and i can only eat like certain foods that are kind of soft and this one is like kind of soft when i get a smoothie with it and that's like what i've been eating for three months heading home i got this trellis we're gonna try our best i didn't put trellis in before i put my like tom like my tomatoes in guys like how dumb of a move was that? I just wasn't thinking. Um, and one of my friends sent me what she did because she did it after, and I'm gonna like try my best and like just see how it works out, you know? But other than that, I mean, all the plants are doing really well and I'm feeling good. All right, so this is what I get. It's like the chicken bacon ranch wrap. Listen, this is by no means like fine cuisine. Not that I, you know, eat fine cuisine anyways. Oh no, and my sides didn't come. And then I get, I don't even know what kind of, the Bahama Mama smoothie. This cheese is probably like radioactive, guys. Like I can't describe it. It's not real, but it's really good. Alright y'all, I have my little setup as you can see. Um, this is my potting bench. Not all of these plants are gonna make it. I've got a lot of celery. I'm gonna move a lot of them, but I realize that I actually have tomorrow to do a lot of this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant what I can of the spinach. And then I also need to cut some of my cut flowers. So like I'm pinching them so that they'll have like more flowers coming off. Um, I'm kind of hitting a wall, I'm getting really tired. So I'd rather get a run in today 
and then like have a cozy spa kind of evening and then get all this done when I have like time tomorrow. So that's gonna be my Monday activity. Um, I have an entire video all about how I started my garden and if you guys have any questions about this stuff, it's all in that video. So go check that out. But this potting bench is like the best thing ever. This is actually like my favorite activity to do is like seed stuff, which is why I have too much stuff going on right now. So we're gonna go to the backyard. Also, I need to work on cleaning my pool. Cleaning my pool has been such a pain. It's been really difficult to keep it clean recently only because I got behind for like two months and it's just like going back and forth, but don't worry. We're getting things, we're getting things together. All right, little garden update, here we go. We have our eggplant here, and then a ton of carrots, and I believe these are sweet peppers. They've not really grown much though, so we'll see. We've got a lot of lettuce. We had a crazy storm, so I don't know how I feel about that one. And this one's like all the way off. I'm gonna try to fill them in. I know you're supposed to do like six inches apart, but I've been reading a lot on blogs how some people do it like two inches away from each other. I know it'll take away, I don't know, here's the thing though, like how did this one end up over here? Like look at how amazing this like lettuce, salad bowl lettuce is, it's amazing. And then we have spinach, but caterpillars have gotten to this, so gotta figure that out. This is the tomatoes they're leaning a little bit so I'm gonna try my best I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this but we'll see sweet pepper onions and then these are my new additions um, I don't know if I've vlogged about these yet but Godzilla broccoli and ca snowball cauliflower guys what do I do about the caterpillars like I did get a spray for them and I haven't done that quite yet but I just don't know and then this is my chaotic cut flower garden not much is growing there, a ton is growing here. Um, I need to come and pinch these just to get more out of them. But I'm really excited to see how this is in a couple months. some greens we'll see how that works it's kind of stressing me out a little bit all right y'all I thought that this came in a set to where it breaks up but there's only one of these and I really only need like this length so you know what I bet I could just unhook these that would be very easy I just don't know how much energy I have for this but it's gonna look so weird to like try to stake these down I really don't know I'm gonna post on TikTok and see what people think I should do Okay, I got a little bit less gardening done, actually quite a bit less gardening done than I expected, but it's just not in the cards for today, and tomorrow I'm gonna get a ton more done, but I need to put some of my clothes away. I also probably should have washed my hands more, so that's good. Um, put all these away. Tomorrow I need to get to packing. I'm also mid um, 5K training via the Nike Run Club app. I like never say via. I don't know where that came from. I don't know. I'm doing the Nike Run Club app and I'm really excited about it. I'm really enjoying it. So today I just have a quick little recovery run. It's so insane to me that people do marathons because like I can barely do anything. The fact that people like just go first off like this is coming from the queen of hobbies herself like three hours of running training regularly per day. Like, you're not able to do like literally anything else and then I can only imagine how tired you are. Um, but also, it's just like literally insane. Like I run a couple, like literally I'll run a mile and I'm like, whew, that was good for today. You know what I mean? Also, I just got this cute dress from Free People. I got it in a size medium and I think I actually might need a size small. I've noticed that with Free People, I feel like their sizing like runs a little big or is maybe like more true to sizing or something 
whatever I don't I don't even know what's right what's wrong normally I wear a size medium and my overalls that I've been loving I actually just ordered two new pairs of overalls for them today the overalls I've been loving um, I got them in a medium and I need a size small so anyways has does that happen to other people like are they normally like even these that they sent me actually are a size medium and I am a size medium like I wear medium basically non-stop and they don't fit right like they're like a little too oversized I'm like anxious I need to go run all right I'm wearing this little Azure fit set and then this oversized t-shirt from Abercrombie I don't know if I should run with a hat like I'm really new to this running thing guys but I'm honestly enjoying it I mean so far I really just want to like get to the point where I can run three miles easily. I literally have no idea how people just like don't run and then all of a sudden just like go out and run five miles. Like that is so crazy to me. I could just like literally never. My hat is Tacovas, and then I wear Hoka's. <sighs> okay, I love my Hoka's, but like should I be getting other running shoes? And like if you guys are runners, give me your best tips. Um, and the Nike Run Club, we're running for time really and not distance. And I know people say, like, when you start running, it's best to do it that way. It's been helpful. I'm only on week two. I've got to cram, I think, two weeks into this next week, though, because I think I'm a little bit behind. It's good for, like, my anxiety, like, the mental health aspect of it, too. I mean, I obviously, like, already work out. But I wanted to add something in, especially something that I could do when I'm traveling, just because I don't always, like, go work out when I'm traveling. And I like to just, like, running is just so nice because you can, like, do it literally anywhere at any time. You don't have to, like, book a class, obviously. Hello, Fitz. Hi. I think he wants to go with me. Fitz also loves this new hobby of mine. All right, guys. I finished my run. I'm really glad I did it. It was just, like, a recovery run, so not the hardest thing in the world. But it's 4 p.m., and I like to shower, do, like, an everything shower and get in bed, like, early on a Sunday night. And then I'll get stuff prepped, like, if I need to go over my week calendar wise and stuff. I've actually, I don't need to go over it this week because I've done it so much and also Stagecoach starts Thursday. So it's not like a regular week, but I do need to get some stuff done for a friend of mine. I'm gonna do a little bit of a Sephora haul and then I need to take a shower and get comfy. I was gonna cook tonight, but again, we're Sunday resetting. My energy, my vibes are low and I'm tired. So I'm gonna order food in and I haven't decided what I want. Part of me wants ramen. My face has been, my whole body has just been so inflamed, so I feel like that's like kind of defeating the purpose, but like I don't really care, you know? Before I get into the shower, we're going to do a little Sephora haul. I got some restocks that I needed for this week with traveling. Um, well, this is not from Sephora, but my Rain Lashes came in, the lash subscription. I get them in Kate, Kate Davis. They're the best lashes ever, but the issue is that I, don't, I haven't been wearing makeup, like, well, I haven't worn makeup. I haven't, I've worn less makeup than I would normally wear, like just this year. So now I'm on the subscription and I just have so many extras. So I probably should pause for now, but they're the best like fake lashes ever. And I'm someone who cannot put on a fake lash to save my life. Like it's a joke. It's so hard for me and I just can't. And I can put those on with her little tool. They're the only lashes I've ever been able to put on myself. So if y'all are looking for a good lash, Rain Lashes, Kate, they're amazing. I think Dom also really likes them, and I don't even think Dom realized the connection between these and Kate Davis. I think she found them like on a shoot with a makeup artist, but they are the best lashes ever. Boss Labs foundation. So I had a male Instacart driver, so I don't know if, I think that this is the wrong shade, but if y'all haven't used this foundation before, he gave me, okay, like right now I'm really pale, I'm normally tanned, um, so it would normally be darker, but this foundation there is nothing like it it is the best foundation legit ever so i love that stuff i restocked glow screen obviously my favorite product honestly that i own i've bought at least i don't even know how many i but i've been wearing this daily for the past six years i want to say at this point at least like it is the best sunscreen and i get it in golden hour but it blurs out your skin a little bit and this one gives you a little bit of color and i don't wear like face makeup with it if anything i put on like a little blush put on eyebrows and like lip like lip gloss or something and it's the best i've talked about this so many times just in case someone's new here and i haven't talked about it in a while 
This is my number one holy grail product. It blurs out your skin. I don't know if I said that. It's just so good. For shampoo and conditioner, I needed new shampoo and conditioner. Well, and then I organized my bathroom and I realized that I have a ton of stuff in there. So, whatever. This is Kerastase. I love Kerastase. And I think this is the blonde. Yeah. It's the blonde. I always accidentally buy like two shampoos and then I'm like, are you joking? Anyways, I'll let you guys know how this one goes after I try it out for a little bit longer. Um, I love another actually Kate Davis product. She, I believe, is like a co founder of this brand now, but she just started using it and loved it. This glimmer hair mask. You just put it on for 10 minutes. It's the 10 minute superfood hair mask. Restores hair health, softness, and shine. People say this like does wonders on your hair growth. I get blowouts so often that I'm not using this consistently enough, but I will say it makes my hair so silky smooth, like just absolutely amazing. I love this stuff. Okay, so this I just wanted to try. It's from Merit. I actually haven't tried enough products from Merit. I know I would love it because they're um, pretty light makeup from what I've gathered, but this little brush, I think I was gonna use it for bronzer. I don't really know, but it's cute, it's small. We'll see how I like it. And then these two powders that I loved last summer. I mean, I used these, nothing but these, for months, like way past summer. They're so good. So they're both Makeup by Mario, and I only even discovered them because I was going home from the, oh, was this broken? Okay, well it's a little bit shattered, but whatever. I was in an Uber home from the stockyard by myself, and it was like an hour, and I did like a big Sephora shopping spree, and this stuff is so amazing, so, this is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. This stuff is amazing. I just use it all over my face and it makes your skin look insane. Like, it's so good if you're like a minimal makeup girly, just like day to day. This isn't like glam stuff. Um, and then this is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer All Over Warming Complexion Tint. Um, this looks a lot darker than it goes on. And, or, no, I think it does. I, I actually need to check that because it's light. No, this is light medium. So, I just like haven't had this product in a while, but also like it's been down to the pan for me for so long. This doesn't go on this dark, it's light medium. So these two products I love. Like if you are a minimal makeup girly, a lazy makeup girl, you know, two minutes in the morning, like this is your stuff. So I'll link that stuff below. I'm gonna shower. I'm listening to Kelly Rizzo's podcast, which I've been loving. She's like my dream guest right now. And that is that. We're gonna relax. Think about what I'm gonna door dash. Um, I might put something on the TV actually, so let's see. Amazing. I dried like the wefts of my hair. I never dry my hair all the way through. It just takes so long. My extension girlies get it, but I went through, I did my hair care routine, and I dry like the weft so it keeps, it's basically like extension hair health. You don't want to leave that wet um, because it's bad for the wefts and they don't last as long. So anyways, I dried my hair, at least the wefts, and I decided actually want to cook tonight. I want to make my like favorite easy bolognese. It's a recipe from the Mod and Proper. It is my favorite. I was looking at my recipe journal just to see like general vibes, maybe if I got some inspo. And I'm really actually craving that pasta now. So I ordered some groceries just for the next like 
two days basically and that should be arriving soon and then I can make some. I also forgot that Macy and I cooked this weekend so I would have had food already left over but I just like totally forgot so anyways I'm watching New Heights which is like my number one comfort podcast. I'm in this new pajama set from Skims that I just got. It's really comfy. Um, I really like it. I will link it below. But now I need to check on some like laptop stuff. Oh god. Okay. Fitz has already made himself comfortable and messed up my bed, but I'm glad he's getting a good nap. So I'm gonna get my bed. So oh my gosh. Wait, this is so funny, guys. Okay, so Fitz is laying here, and look who has his bed. Just a little old Coca. So I'm getting my bed a little bit comfortable and i use this it's like so middle school i got it originally because it's good for needle pointing but i use it a lot just because i've actually been working from bed a lot recently i use it a lot when i'm just like sitting here or even when i'm reading um which we need to talk about that soon but we have this sheet that i'll link below but it's for like ugc creators and gifting for a friend of mine we don't have like a ton of budget, so we're not able to like buy a ton of UGC videos. We have a lot of girls who are interested. So I'm gonna go through and pick a couple to gift. Um, we're gonna gift a bunch of dinner cards right now. And then by the time y'all are watching this, we actually should be restocked on recipe journals, dinner cards, nightcap cards. I especially wanna be gifting to people who are already like in the community and have already either gone to like a dinner party or already following or have bought something, you don't have to have bought something, like I understand not everyone can do that right now, so just people who are like into the brand in general and like get the vision or into the vibe. So I'm gonna go through um, and finish that up. I don't have a ton left that I need to do. I need to send this week's podcast episode details and stuff over, but we recorded on Friday, Macy and I recorded an episode that's basically, it's like me coaching Macy through her quarter life crisis. Also me being in a CBM, a certified bad mood. I just couldn't get out of it, which I could even do. Like I want to do like a solo episode. Also, I just like have a hard time thinking about like what I want to record solo wise besides like I just did the like hobby solo episode just because my life obviously right now is so depressing. So like I don't know what all to talk about. And then I don't want to be like the grief girl necessarily. But I also think it's really important to talk about it. So I do want to talk about it. I just don't want it to be like the only thing in the world that I talk about. With that being said, if it's just me, it's really difficult to like talk about. It just, everything feels so stupid right now. So it's hard for me to like do that stuff. But I kind of do want to do more stuff about like a friend of mine, even um, Carly, who's editing this, who does like community stuff. I want to have her back on um, this year to do stuff about like basically like community around brand and like what we've been doing with friend of mine and the vision and all that stuff so if yours if y'all i was gonna say y'all guys if y'all are interested in that stuff please let me know good it doesn't necessarily like look pretty but it's really good this is so much pasta it's a great thing to make on Sundays too because it's great meal prep this the recipe that I use I think feeds like four to six so I just have leftovers for tomorrow which is great um, I wanted to show you all before I get too far along I wanted to show you all a little bit of needlepoint updates because I've, there have definitely been some updates okay I'm back to working on my big project at home. This is gonna take me so long and I've not been flying through it by any means because I just haven't been even doing it, honestly. But it's really relaxing doing a big project. And just like, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna feel so amazing. My eyes 
are like stinging and I don't know why and I don't know where my lip balm went. Yesterday, I finished this one. This is the Rose Hill Cottage from the holiday, which I don't even know if I vlogged about this. Yes, I didn't on Nantucket. I did it a ton of it on Nantucket and I just finished it and it's gonna go on a pillow. The holiday is my favorite movie in the entire world and to have this like made me so excited. And then this is my small one that I'm gonna bring with me on my trip this week. It's from Erica Wilson. I got it on Nantucket and it's a rooster. Clearly I love roosters and that was all roosters. I didn't even realize that until Macy said something about it yesterday. But I just think it's so cute and I love it and it's so fun. So that's it. And then I actually have my Rayo's or Rao's uh, marinara sauce as well that I got from Penny Lynn, um, which I just cooked with. And I think it's so cute. This is fun because the colors change all the time. This is fun because it's a similar kind of vibe. Um, but I obviously, I'm not going to travel to Stagecoach with this massive one. So I'm going to do that this week from home. And that's that. Oh, last thing I will say, guys, because I will just stop vlogging because there's really no point in me to continue vlogging when I'm just going to be sitting here needle pointing all night. I'm about to finish Ellen Hildebrand's last Nantucket novel, Swan Song. I've been the slowest reader ever this year. I'm like 80% in. It's good. It's not my favorite Ellen book ever, but it's still a really good like Nantucket novel. But like I am so attached to like specific Ellen books that I feel like I'm just like harder on them. But it's a great summer read, fantastic summer novel. Then my favorite author, one of my favorite authors, Abby Jimenez. She has a new book that came out like two weeks ago. That's how you know I'm out of it, that I didn't even realize it had been released, but it's called Just for the Summer. And every book of hers, I've rated five stars, like five of her five books, five stars. I think one of them was like a 4.5, but I am so excited to read that one. So I'm downloading that, and I feel like I'm going to be reading a bit, especially when I'm at Stagecoach. Like, I feel like I'll have some downtime there. So I'll be needle pointing and reading today, um, and that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Coco's barking at me, so I need to go play with my dogs. Love y'all, and I will talk to you in my next video. Lights, camera, oh. bitch, smile. Da -da 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 -da. Why? He said I can do it with a broken heart. Oh wow, Thank that was so you. good. Thank you. Like if you were like a queen back in the day, you would have definitely had like a lot oh. of like the best like court jesters for sure. Totally. See, I don't really know where you're going with that. I think no, it's nice. I just no. That's what I mean. Like it is <laughs> nice. I just mean like you know like some queens would have like appreciated the opera. Some oh, queens would have totally. appreciated like art. You yeah, no, no, would have no. like employed every single jester. Yes. In England, like yes. if that was what we're talking about, like your matriarchy would be employing jesters. You know what my theory on this is? Why I have funnier friends than everyone else? Because mm. I laugh at everything. You really do. Every single thing. And so funny people love me. 